of all, I think it was clear the picture of the game. Zalgiris play for 40 minutes with great concentration and great energy both sides on offense and defense. And uh, we didn't approach the game, I think, especially on the first half uh, by defense. We approached the game by offense. And uh, Zalgiris right now really it's... Uh, they are top team on Euroleague, not only because of the standing, but they play great basketball. They have this physicality, they have they change the lineup every few minutes. And uh, really, um, right now, it's a, a new style of uh, basketball that uh, Zargis and Coach Trikeri uh, put this on, on in the Euroleague. And uh, it was a tough night for us. But uh, we need to see this game and we need to go to the to focus on the next game that we have two very important games for us until the break. And uh, we need to focus on these two games. Tai trenerio komentaras buvo visų pirma, treneris mano, kad Žalgiris žaidė visas 40 minučių su puikia koncentracija, tiek polime, tiek gynyboje. Mes bandėm įeiti į rungtynes polimų, bet ne gynyboje. Um, ir tai turbūt kišomkoja, Žalgiris žaidžia puikų žaidimą ir neveltų pirmauja Eurolygoje uh, su savo aukštų intensyvumu. Um, kitoks stilius, kurį pritrai, pritaikė treneris Trinkieriui ir Žalgiriui, um, neveltų į, kaip ir minėjo treneris, jie pirmą Eurolygų ilto. Na, apie savo komandą sakė, kad mums reikia koncentruotis į kitas rungtynes. Turime dvi labai svarbės rungtynes prieš FIBA langą, tai dirbsime ir, 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 ir bandysime ten laimėti. Coach, uh, were you happy with your team's uh, energy in the first, first half, first quarter, or was it more about Žalgiris players? I think first half we lost a lot of offense bound. They scored 12 points from offense bound. They have size, they have athleticism, but we could make, of course, better job. We could be more aggressive, um, more decisive, I can say, because we have lack of um, uh, of decisions. Uh, we have some open shots. We didn't took the shots. We didn't move the ball, but we played with one great team that. Uh, if you are not uh, ready physically and mentally to play a tough game, a real tough game, it's not easy to follow their tempo. Uh, so I think it's uh, both sides. Zalgis has a great game and also from our side, uh, we didn't have the right approach, especially in the beginning that you always you, you put the, the tempo of the game. Klausimas buvo, ar treneris patenkintas energiją pirmajame kelinėje, pirmoje rungtynių pusėje, tai treneris minėjo, kad 12 taškų po polime atkotų kamuolių susirinko Žalgiris, jie turi ūgį, turi atletiškumą ir mes, aišku, turėjome padaryti geresnį darbą, patys daugiau agresyviau žaisti, padarėme klaidų polime, kai reikia mesti, nemezdavome, bet tokioms rungtynėms reikia ne tik fiziškai, bet žinoma ir psichologiškai nusiteikti žaisti visas 40 minučių Žalgiris sužaidė tikrai puikias rungtynės. I would like to say also uh, for Žalgiris good luck for uh, the rest of the season of, of Euroleague. I think it's very important for Lithuanian basketball. I'm, I'm also part of the Lithuanian basketball to have Žalgiris on the top standing of Euroleague. Uh, Wolves uh, on Eurocup that they have a great games. Ritas and uh, that Gabriel is because it's very important everyone all over the Europe to see that the Lithuanian basketball is getting better, better, and I hope also our team will follow this step and we are, as a city, I think we have everything. So next years, uh, this team play in Europe and to make uh, the step, step by step, and to be also on the in this European basketball. Uh, that we can do it as a team and uh, it's very important that right now all the teams in Lithuania league they play great in Europe. Taip pat treneris sakė, kad Žalgiriui linkis sėkmės Eurolygoje vis, visa Lietuva ir, ir visa 
Lietuvos krepšinio lygoje, stebi ir apskritai visos komandos dabar žaidžiančios iš Lietuvos jau europiniuose turnyruose žaidžia tikrai gerai ir treneris sakė, kad mes kaip turime gerą miestą, kalbėjo apie Klaipėdą, turime viską, kad galime žengti tą žingsnį ir kitais metais dalyvauti Europoje ir sakė, kad toks kitų Lietuvos krepšinio lygos komandų žaidimas Europoje yra tikrai stebimas ir turėtume pasidžiaugti už tai, kaip visoms komandoms sekasi. Talking not only about this game, but uh, you mentioned before the season that you expect your team to be in the top four uh, after this two months of the season. Uh, how happy are you with the, your team's current position uh, to reach this goal? So I think uh, we have a very difficult schedule. Until now, we had uh, um, away games and home games were tough against Algeris, against Wolf. But also we have these injuries that is very important for us. We have two players that they are the most athletic players for us. And uh, I think overall with this uh, schedule and these injuries, uh, we, are on, we, are, we have great concentration, especially in the LKL game, but it's, I think it's too early. I think it's too early. We have uh, three more rounds plus one more game that uh, we see every game we see Uh, every game is very difficult. We don't have any team that uh, you can relax. We relax one game with Mazeka that we didn't approach correctly the game and we lost the game. And they deserve Mazeka to win this game. So our, I think our philosophy and our motto is that we need to approach every game by game. Of course, I will be very happy when I hope after the window we'll have all the team, all the roster together and to work on uh, everyone and to find our balance, our calmness. And uh, if we approach correctly game by game, we can be on the top four. Klausimas buvo, kad kalbant ne tik apie šios rungtynes, bet apskritai prieš sezoną sakėte, kad norite būti top 4 Lietuvos krepšinio lygoje ir kaip jūs patengintas dabar pirmajame rate su žaistomis rungtynėmis, treneris sakė, kad turėjome sunkų tvarkaraštį, sunkios rungtynės, Žalgiris, Vilnius Wolves, bet aišku, turime du iškritus žaidėjus, Tenita Johnson ir Martina Patsevičių, bet su šiuo grafiku ir tom traumom, kurias mūsų žaidėjai buvo patyrę, manau, kad žaidėme neblogai. Dar turime, aišku, ir vienas rungtynės pirmajame rate, ir dar trys ratai šiame sezone, tai matysime, kaip viskas bus. Bet su nei viena komanda negalima atsipalaiduoti, taip kaip buvo su mažeikiais, ir jo trenerio komanda atsipalaidavo ir patyrė pralaimėjimą mažeikės. Ir, kaip sakė treneris, mūsų komandos moto turi būti, kad eitume į kiekvienas rungtynės nusiteikę laimėti, žingsnis po žingsnių ir tikiuosi, kad po langą turėsime visus sveikus žaidėjus ir tęsime tą gerą formą. 11 players playing. The player that played the last minutes was almost 15. The player that played the most minutes was 24. I believe this was my plan. In a moment where we have minutes restrictions, players out, uh, handling the, the personnel and the, the load, load management was very important. But in order to do it, I need player focus, committed, playing hard and Without shining, uh, with some mistakes, we played a solid game for 40 minutes, and we ever always had two, three, four players at the same time, very aggressive defensively and offensively. Um. Komentaras trenerio apie įspūdingą pergalį ir kas labiausiai džiugino, tai sakė, kad 11 žaidėjų turėjome 11 žaidę, daugiausiai 24 minutės, mažiausiai 15, toks ir buvo mano planas mintis prieš šias rungtynes, tai minučių kontrolę, suvaldyti jas, duoti palsėti, bet šiaip apie rungtynes, tai sakė, kad visi buvo susikaupę, žaidė tikrai gerai nuo pradžios iki galo, nors šiek tiek padarė klaidų, bet kontroliavo rungtynes visas 40 minutės. Coach uh, Lonnie Walker, 19 points, 20 minutes. How happy we are, were you with this, his performance tonight? Um, when such a player coming overseas, he's not coming overseas, he's coming from a different galaxy. 
the most difficult thing is the positioning on defense because the tendency is they play very far from the ball and they are always in drop and always with a bigger distance to absorb great one-on-one -on -one players without the help because you cannot stay in the paint. So he had a very slow start with bad positioning on defense. Uh, he started better on offense though, okay. He is a legit scorer. And uh, I believe that when he started to play aggressively with aggressiveness on defense, everything fall in the right place. Uh, he didn't make any mistakes and on offense, he can go. My thing is now is I'm using these games because I don't have time to practice to, to teach him how to play. He's uh, very open and um, he's trying to grasp the information, but still you need to do the things. It's not enough to f show the video or talk. And this was a, a, a good game for him to understand how he has to play for us. Um, Klausimas buvo Aloni Walkeris debutavo Lietuvos krepšinio lygoje 19 taškų per 20 minučių. Treneris sakė, kad toks žaidėjas ateina iš, kito, iš kitos galaktikos, sunkiausia polim, polime ir žaisti prieš tokias gynybinės siemas, kaip žaidė klaipėdiečiai, kur vienas prieš vieną jam sunku pasidaryti polime epizodų. Jis buvo prasęs gynyboje pradžioje, bet geras polime, puikus, aišku, polimo žaidėjas. Kai jis pradėjo agresyviau žaisti gynyboje, jam tada viskas tikrai puikiai sekasi šiose rungtynėse. Aišku, neturime laiko treniruotiems, bet jis puikiai pirėjimo informaciją, kurią aš sutikiu jam, bet žinoma, vis tiek reikia ne tik priimti tą informaciją, bet ir padaryti tą aikštelį. Jam tai buvo geros rungtynės šiandien. I wanted to ask also about Arnas Butkevičius, first quarter, 11 points, but overall uh, looking great. How is it important for the team uh, that he sets the energy and how is it important for the team that he actually makes those uh, three-pointers as well? Actually, he was amazing also in Munich. He is the intangible guy for us. He does things from the trash. You know, When the ball is on the floor, he's there, a deflection. And I'm pushing him to be an all-around player. We have a lot of these players that can play, I would say he can play four positions and Mitchell can play five positions, okay? So uh, he's, uh, we had a great luxury this year that I started the preseason. So I explaining exactly what was my plan and it's, uh, I'm very happy to see this happening because Arnas is not young anymore, so I ask him to change his game, to play things that he was, to play pick and roll as a handler, as a screener, to, to shoot the ball, to, to drive, to, to make plays, okay? And, but with the, the thing that we can start and we built through the preseason, I believe now he's taking the, all the, the praise because he embraced the new challenge. I don't have to say to you, you know exactly what kind of person is Arnas, okay? The most accountable, best teammate that you can find. Sometimes these players are, don't want to get out of their comfort zone because they are always already devoted to the team. So they are committed to help the team. And I wanted a little bit more. So we had some struggles in the last season because we didn't have time to uh, practice it to do it and we always was on the run okay but from when we start from the scratch in 30 days 35 days of preseason he really embraced my my plan and I'm very happy for him because this is a reward for his investment Klausimas buvo apie Arną Butkevičių, kuris pirmajame kelnie pelnė 11 taškų, tai treneris sakė, kad jis buvo puikus ir Miunchenė, jis daro tos dalykus, kurių niekas kitas daryti nenori, jis gali žaisti keturiose pozicijose, Mičelas gali žaisti penkiose, bet mes turėjome prabangą pasiruošime šiam sezonui, norėjau pakeisti, kaip Arnas žaidžia, Arnas nebėra jaunas, 
Noriu, kad jis atakuoti daugiau krepščių verštusi, bet kaip ir sakė treneris, tai ką padarė jie prieš sezoną, jis priėmė tai kaip naują iššūkį. Ir, ir treneris sakė, kad aš neturiu jums sakyti, koks yra Arnas, jis yra pats geriausias komandos draugas. Uh, and coach, uh, with injuries to Bryant and Allen, uh, you are forced to play these unconventional lineups uh, from time to time. Are you discovering something that you maybe did not expect from your uh, some no, no, players in, a, these, in these circumstances? And we will do it also uh, with uh, Allen back and uh, Bryant back. It's, uh, um, I consider Allen a 3-5, okay, and He's very good to shoot and put the ball on floor. So I have no problem to play with Mitchell, Arnas at the five. Or handling the ball as guarded by the five men. Klausimas buvo apie traumotų žaidėjus, žaidėjus Alinas Mailagičių ir Brianą Dunstoną. Ar paklausimas buvo, ar treneris atrado kažko naujo pritaikydamas naujas jėmas be šių žaidėjų. Tai sakė, kad Alinas Mailagičius gerai metą tritaškius ir, ir gali pasiginti. Ir, ir jam tai nebuvo kažkas naujas, susitaikę su, su tai žaidėjais, kuris ir turėjo žaisti. 